Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will troubleshoot the issue. Control panel is not working and it is not opening. So this video is for Windows 10 I'm using here, but you can follow these steps in Windows 7, 8 and 11 also. Okay. So let's start without wasting our time. Okay. So we will go through with these three steps. First is local group policy. If your administrator has disabled your control to open the control panel, so you are not going to open the control panel. So how to navigate the local policy? Okay. So go to search bar, type a group policy or you can directly search window plus R button together and type gpedit.msc and open it. Okay. On the left hand side, go to user configuration. Okay. And then click on administrative templates. Okay. Once you click on administrative templates, you should see the control panel here. So click on that. Okay. Now you will see the on the right side prohibit access to control panel and PC setting. Okay. You need to double click on that. And if it is enabled like this in your case, okay, so you need to double click on that and click on not configure, click on apply, click on OK. Okay. Now it should be looking like this not configured. Okay. After that, close it and go to CMD and right click run it as administrator. Or you can directly restart your system if you don't want to hit this command. The command is gp update space slash force. Okay. This will update the group policy setting which we have recently enabled. If you don't want to hit this command, I will give this command as well into my description box. So let me minimize this and copy this as well. Okay, so you can get this command in my description box as well. If your issue is solved after restart or hitting this command, then when and good. If not, we can create a shortcut with this this code. Okay, so what you need to do is this will create the code on your desktop if you are unable to use the control panel. How to do that? Right click on here, click on new folder. Okay, now click on the folder and rename it okay and paste this code copy this and click on right click on the folder click on rename and paste the once you paste the code hit enter now you will see the control panel is here and double click on that and you can access all the administrative templates here okay let me show you like you can see all the options are here ease of access and explorer internet options keyboard setting mouse and network sharing setup edit plan and control panel add and remove programs double click on that to access and you can see you can easily access the programs and features as well so this is the second method if still not working and you want to normally access your control panel you can follow the third step the third step is we will scan our first windows okay and then we will hit this these three commands to repair our imaging services and sfc will scan our system with the windows corruption okay sfc stands for system file checker so how to run the command run the command as an administrator go to search bar type as cmd right click on that run it as an administrator click on yes button when the prompt opens type as sfc space slash scan now hit enter you will see process will take some time it will take almost 10 to 15 minutes it is not related to the internet. 
so once you hit this command just exit out from the cmd and restart your system okay you need to restart your system if sfc command done after that hit these three commands one by one the first command will check the health of your windows go to search bar type as cmd and run it as administrator again click on yes button when the prompt opens and hit this command these command you will get in my description box so don't worry about the commands okay the command will look like this but it will start and you will say no component store corruption detected so no problem in my window that's why i'm getting the message like this if any corruption message you are getting so you need to hit the other command and this will scan the health of our windows okay let me paste this command hit enter and this process will take some time wait now you can see the process will begin like this so i'm canceling this process since i don't have any issue in on my windows so let me cut this windows once you it will reach to 100% you need to hit another command this will reinstall the amazing services of your windows okay third command is this one okay restore health this is the third command copy this command again go to cmd run it as administrator click on the yes button when the prompt opens and hit this command okay this will restore the health of your windows imaging services this command so once you hit enter the process will begin similar to this command okay and it will also go to 100% once it is done you need to just restart your system and your issue will be fixed okay so hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is still not fixed you can reset your windows or reinstall the fresh window so hope this video is useful for you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching